Hi, Courtney here from OTG Bootcamp. Today, I'm going to show you how to do basic movements of a two-handed kettlebell swing. So, for people that have never used kettlebells before, you want to initially start off with at least a 20-pound kettlebell, if not lighter, if you've um, never weight trained before. So, I'm going to be using a 30-pound bell. Don't start off that heavy if you've never used them before because you can seriously injure yourself. Now, with a swing, it's all about your hips. You don't pull with your arms. It's all a hip hinge, pushing your hips back, standing up tall, <clears throat> driving your hips forward, squeezing those glutes. Okay? So what I want you to initially do is take your two hands, place them right where your hips, and push your hips back. Now, I'm going to go sideways, pushing your hips back. Now, if you notice, when you push your butt back, your back's going to curve under. You don't want that. So take your hips and turn them under. That way your back is nice and flat and you don't compress your lower spine. Okay, so you're going to take your kettlebell, place it in front of you into a hike position. Keep your chest up nice and high, push your hips back, and tuck them under. Come down into a hike position. You're going to hike the bell back to your butt, standing up nice and tall, squeezing those glutes. Okay, make sure that you breathe, pushing your hips back. That a power breathing that you hear me doing is diaphragm breathing. Your breathing is very crucial when doing a kettlebell swing. That taking a deep breath in through your nose, exhaling, contracting your core is going to give you that powerful snap at the end. So, what I want you to do before you initially start doing your swing is find a wall at your home, you're going to come on over, and you're going to take about a step away from the wall so that you're not too far from it. Place your hands on your hips, pushing your butt back, tap the wall, stand up, drive those hips forward. If you see, I've got a little pop right there at the end. That pop right there is what's going to bring the kettlebell up. Okay? So practice this. Do about 15, 20 of them on your wall until you feel comfortable and then come back down to doing your swing. 